could do with some of your vodka. <laughs> Patience. I'll see to it. Hey, you know, you get chivied so much in these camps. Almost peaceful in here. Now you talk like a true philosopher. You know I'm a doctor of philosophy. What, university? Krakow, the second eldest in Europe. We Poles have an ancient culture. What made you go in for the hotel business? Well, PhDs are ten a penny in Europe. Besides, I wanted to travel and in time to make some money. My parents stinted themselves to send me to university. Yeah. Suppose I should have given a bit more thought to mine. They're not too well off. Come on, and get a move on, lad! Your friend? <sighs> you know, we had our bassets in Poland, too. Even generals. Thanks to them, our soldiers had to attack the German tanks on horseback. Yes, I know. You see, courage is not enough, except in children's books. It didn't do us much good when the Bolsheviks marched in, either. Made me sick when the Russians carved up Poland with Hitler. And yet you fought for the Bolsheviks in Spain. I fought for the Spanish Republic, so that Spain could be a democracy like England. The communists stabbed us in the back. Democrats. Democrats, I've seen you in England. You detest the Reds, and yet you always flirt with them. Hitler is the main enemy. Oh, Philip, don't lecture me about Nazis. It is my country they occupy. My home was in a little village near Krasnik in eastern Poland. My father was a poor country doctor. He's dead? Yes, he's dead. Nazis. No, 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 no. I said eastern Poland. The half the Bolshevik jackals grabbed. They killed him. A poor man, not an aristocrat, you understand? Not a wicked capitalist, but a modest, devoted country doctor. They hanged him in our garden. Oh, God. Why? Ah, oh, they killed doctors, teachers, simple peasants. They deported thousands like cattle into Russia. My mother was one of them. My sister told me this. She escaped. The Germans are inhuman, but the others are barbarians. Bestial. Okay, we'll kill Germans, but the next war will be for survival against communism. No, there mustn't be any more wars. <laughs> oh, your English illusions. After Hitler, there will still be the last enemy. You've had terrible experiences, and I know you're bitter, but surely... But! I am sick of your English butts. You live on your pleasant little island. We are on the frontier, we know. Communism has gone wrong. But you surely can't believe it's as bad as the Nazis. English complacency, weakness. People like you betray civilization. You know, steady on. We're only having a discussion. Ah, that's all it is to you. The, 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 the teaspoons tinkle in the teacups. Have some of these nice biscuits, Mr. Shanovsky. Be reasonable, Mr. Shanovsky. We are only having a nice talk. Nice talk. Ask my father, my mother, my sister, my country. I, I'm sorry, Stashek. Let's stop. I... You know what the communists say. Who is not with us is against us. They are right. Stashek! You soft, you English. Oh, well, we're not soft to Hitler. Tiny little Finland. The Russians invaded just like the Nazis. Why didn't you defend them? Well, thank God we didn't. We've got enough on our plate with the Germans. Spoken like a coward. Everybody else has pulled out but us. Doesn't suit you to call us cowards. You mean we are? Hey, now, come on, what's happening? We're friends, aren't we? Like your country was friends with mine. You guaranteed our frontier and you let us down. Oh, we're fighting for your country now. For yourselves! You were so nice to Hitler until it was too late. You are so nice to communists, to Jews... Ah, you know better than a fascist yourself. Fascist! Because I love my country, this war is not for your liberal ideals. It is for self-preservation. Kill your enemies, all of them. The law of the jungle. Yes, the jungle, always. Don't worry, I'll kill Germans. And I won't forget you called me a fascist. 